Hey traders, John Hal here. In this video, I'm gonna give you a quick little gold stocks update. Just to focus on the gold stocks, show you what, show you what you see, what I'm, or should I say just the GDX and the GDX show, I'm gonna mainly just focus on that in this video here. Firstly, what do we see here on the short term? We see what? We see the market come down. It came down, made a low, it made a high low. Let's actually do this through here. It came down, made a low, made a lower high. Then it came down and made this, made this uh, sort of a low through here. Then it came down, made sort of a low through here. Then it made a, a high, sort of a lower high through here. Then it came up and made a higher high through here, right? So we're getting some sort of short term upward trend here, aren't we? It's a very short term upward trend. But notice this one thing, right? You notice my moving average. Now, this is a long term moving average. Notice my moving average is still pointing down. What does the moving average do? It measures what? It measures momentum, right? It just shows you where the momentum is. Notice how we break back above the moving average, but the moving average is still pointing down. Hmm, interesting, right? Now, what is this moving average? This is the 52 MA, 52 MA in the markets. Oh, by the way, guys, before I do start, um, don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video here because trading is risky, it can cause substantial financial loss. Um, yeah, <laughs> I forgot to say that at the start, but you know what, you know what I'm talking about, right? Um, don't place a trade based on what you see in this video because trade is more than just more than just goes into trading, right? So anyway, so we see this short term rally on GDX, but what is that longer term picture here, right? If you've been watching my videos for quite some time, what have what have I been harping on for quite some time with silver and gold? Don't fight that weekly trend, right? What's hap what's happening right now? We had this big drop down through here. We had this big rally through here. But what's what actually happened? What, what's happened? What's happened right now? on that short term picture. Let's actually move this through here. What's happened with that short term picture, right? So we had this big drop down through here and a big rally up. So who's in control of this weekly chart? Lower high, lower low, lower high. The sellers are likely to come back in now and knock it down. And look at that big down bar, right? Almost, almost, almost a four and a half percent down bar with a massive volume spike. Don't fight that weekly trend. If you're trying to get into the GDX right now, or maybe some gold stocks, uh, that gold stocks are different, right? Like each individual stock has its own merits. But the GDX and the GDXJ, the gold stocks index right now, I look like that they've just had their they've just had their pullback, and to me, it looks like we're now getting ready for the next push down, and that next push down could be as low as these 2016 lows through here. Remember, we remember we just we went through a bit of a sideways period and we just broke out. So this is the very first test step. In most cases, what does the market give you? In most cases, the market gives you about three stair steps in that direction. So this is step number stair step number one. There's likely to be at least a, at least one more stair step in that direction. So don't fight that weekly trend. Okay, do not fight that weekly trend. Moving on now to the GDXJ. Sort of similar same thing, right? Look at this here. Sort of just a slight upward trend on the gold stocks. And now we're rolling over through here, aren't we? Just rolling over through here. Once again, that's a short term picture through there. Big selling down now or over 3% on the gold stocks. But look what's happening on the short term picture. What is the short term picture once again saying? It is what? It went sideways for a while, broke down. We would go low, now rally up. Who's in control of this weekly chart right now? And you guys know, right? If you guys have been following me now for the last few weeks, you know I've been harping on this for so long. Is what? Low, low, a high, low, lower low. And now this is likely to be a lower high through here. Look at my moving averages. Moving averages, momentum there. Don't fight that weekly trend, right? If you're trying to buy the GDXJ right now, you're fighting that weekly trend. And nine times out of 10, it's going to smack you. And look what happened today. It actually ran up, hit the resistance, and now pushed back down. And we're now likely to see a lot more follow through on the GDXJ. Now, don't place a trade based on what you what what I just said there, right? Because it's not about one trade. So many people say, John, I I bought some call options or I bought some put options based on this video, you know, and I did well. I'm like, wrong, wrong, wrong. Trading is about probability, right? Anyway, you saw that if you see, go, go through my other videos, you'll talk about talk about there. So anyway, this is a gold stocks update of what's you know, you know, to me. A lot more downside to come in the gold stocks market. Look at that weekly chart there, and it's just starting right now. After being mentored by four different seven-figure traders, I've realized they all have some things in common that actually help them do really, really well in the markets. So I'm actually putting on a free training where I'm going to walk you through the seven simple but powerful universal laws to becoming a consistent profitable trader while achieving a very high success rate without spending 13 years 
trying to figure it all out. Plus, I'm gonna walk you through the absolute details of my number one trading system that I trade every single day. The very first thing in the description, click on that and you'll be able to go, you'll be able to go check it all out and be able to go see this free training and I'm gonna walk you through every single detail of these seven universal laws so you too can start to have the odds on your side. So go do that right now and I'll see you on the next page.